Hey guys, just a quick update video about the MacBook Air. I'm trying the Cinebench graphics test again, but this time with it plugged in because I, because I was unsure why I kept getting the results of only 13.4 frames per second when someone like with a huge tech channel like Austin showed that it was getting over 30. So I plugged it in, ran the test. Look at that, 35.63 frames per second. So let's just do a quick test here of it unplugged. These are tight, these new ones. Don't, don't do it. Don't wreck that cord. Unplugged, let's run it. And we're just gonna let it run here with the full view so that you can see that I'm not cheating. Yeah, that seems smooth now gonna get a high score I can tell yeah look at that 35 frames per second so I don't know how to replicate that other score that I got but I'm glad I saved it because I showed it on video and there it is again that's what I got before 13.4 now I did run it directly after a CPU test on battery so let me run the CPU test get the graphics card nice and hot get the die nice and hot and then I'll run an OpenGL test right afterwards All right, I've got two rendering lines to go, and as soon as it's done and we get the score, again, we are still on battery, 41% battery. As soon as this is done and we get the score, I'll start the OpenGL test while the die is nice and hot. So we got 264. I'm gonna immediately run the graphics test while still on battery, and we'll see how bad of a score we get. It must be thermal related then. If it's not battery related, we'll soon find out. It still seems smoother than when I tested it on day one. It's going to get a high score. 30. Thirty-three. Wow. On battery. Okay, guys. Well, I don't know what happened, but the, you can tell here that the orange scores are mine, and I cannot replicate the 13.4 that I got originally. So I don't know what happened, but it looks like... Uh, after a reboot or something happened, the performance has doubled. So, I don't know. The, the laptop is quite hot right now after running gr graphics, then CPU, then graphics, back to back to back. And it's still putting in some pretty decent scores. So, it is a okay powerful laptop, but uh, yeah, I still wish it had the full U-Series chip in it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.